So, now that Ghost of Tsushima has finally been released and I have finally beat the game, I think it's time for me to give you my list of my top 10 favorite PS4 exclusives ever released from 2013 all the way until now in 2020. And just a friendly reminder, this is my list and it's not a definitive way to rank these games. Some games that you might like might be missing from this list, and that's fine because everyone has their own list of their favorite games. So, would you be so kind on dropping in the comment section down below your top 10 favorite PS4 games of all time, and let's discuss about those games in a respectful way in the comment section. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for content like this, and because it really helps the channel out a lot. Okay, so now let's get started. Uncharted Lost Legacy is one of those games that I truly thought I wasn't going to like as much compared to the other Uncharted games. Why? Because I was so used to playing as Nathan Drake for 4 straight games that you always had the sense of doubt when trying something new and new characters. And I have to say, if this game made it into my top 10 list, me being picky as hell, then it really says a lot. The game is shorter than Uncharted 4 and it literally plays like Uncharted 4, but why fix what is not broken, right? Gameplay is great, the story is fantastic, and the epic cinematic moments truly rivaled the previous Uncharted games, and that says a lot. This game is truly a must-have, and I really recommend this game to anyone I know. Detroit Become Human, believe it or not, is one of my favorite games of all time because, without a shadow of a doubt, it is one of the most immersive games I have ever played in my entire life. The story between three androids struggling with having actual human emotions that is not socially accepted at all in this universe is truly amazing to see. And I don't remember playing a game that has made me want to play it again and again and again to see the different outcomes that it has because of the decisions you make. And, the best thing about this game is that every decision you make truly has an effect on how the story could end, and it is just an amazing experience. I cannot go into much detail because I might spoil some parts of the game for you all, but if you haven't played this game, please pick it up. The graphics are great, the story is truly amazing no matter what you choose to do, and overall, it's an immersive experience that is one to witness. Even my wife, who does not like video games at all, sat down with me and saw the whole game with me because of how impressed and immersed she was, even without playing the game. Imagine if she would actually pick up the controller and actually play the game. Trust me, this game is a must-have. What more can be said about Horizon Zero Dawn? It is one of the most beautiful open world games ever made. The story is great, and the gameplay is truly phenomenal. Horizon Zero Dawn was crowned the best PS4 game of 2016, beating Uncharted 4, and was the fastest selling original IP selling 2.6 million copies in its first two weeks, which was insane at the time. This PS4 game has been recommended to me for years. Even my assistant manager when I used to work back in the day in Starbucks used to tell me to play this game all the time. He even said that it was one of the best games he has ever played, period. I did not take his advice until my brother bought the game for himself and I asked him if I can borrow the game and give it a try. I did and the moment I started to play the game, it automatically became one of my favorite PS4 exclusives of all time and was never, ever going to miss my top 10 list. The only reason why this game is in 8th place is because the other games that are on top of it are that good and I love them to bits. To be honest, if Horizon Zero Dawn sits in 8th in this list, it's because PlayStation just cannot stop pumping out amazing games to play. Microsoft. Please take note, we need more competition. This has to be, without a shadow of a doubt, the most underrated game of the whole PlayStation generation. This game has received the most undeserved hate and low scores from some critics that truly baffled me how blind and agenda-based some people really are. 
the fact that IGN had the nerve to say that this game is not that good because the main protagonist is a bland, stereotypical white American with the most whitest name ever in Deacon St. John with a bland story that has no emotional payoff is truly criminal. It is like we all play different games from them and it's just nothing like what they said. Days Gone is an emotional ride from start to finish. Yes, the first hours of the game might be a bit of a drag. The story feels kind of slow at first, but when the game picks up, it never slows down and is truly one of the best freaking stories I have ever experienced in a video game. And the soundtrack of this game is so freaking good. And it truly got me emotional in some parts of the game and it did its job perfectly. It made me happy that Ben Studios made an actual good and immersive open world zombie game. It is a must play without a doubt. Ghost of Tsushima, a game I truly underestimated before its launch. I truly thought this game was going to be a beautiful open world game with great graphics and music, but that it would lack in the story department heavily. And I was nothing but wrong about the game, and I'm very happy I was. Ghost of Tsushima without a doubt, in my mind, is one of the best games ever produced. And the only reason it did not crack into my top 3 favorite PS4 games of all time is because the other games are just that good. So trust me when I say that this game is so good you could put it in either 4th, 3rd, 2nd or even 1st place and it would not feel out of place. The gameplay is so close to be flawless and it's crazy to even think about it. The story is truly amazing, especially in the 3rd act of the story. The performances of the actors are great. But what takes the cake for me, and makes this game a flawed masterpiece in my opinion, is the music. The music is the most important aspect in this game's success, and without a shadow of a doubt, if the music wasn't as good, for sure this game wouldn't have even been as good as how it was. And it wouldn't have even become the fastest selling original IP game in history, selling over 2.4 million copies in just 3 days, surpassing Horizon Zero Dawn in the process. This game deserves to be added in your game collection, no questions asked. Uncharted 4 was the game that got me back into my passion of gaming. I remember playing The Last of Us back in 2013, and after that, no games that I played after that were even close to how I felt with The Last of Us. It was three years later, in 2016, where I fell in love with gaming because of Uncharted 4. Playing as an older Nate for what it seems for the very last time, seeing the character grow from his first game until the fourth was remarkable to experience. And closing Nathan's chapter with Uncharted 4 was done in the best way it could possibly have been done. The gameplay is so much fun, the cinematic moments in this game are breathtaking. The story is one of the best in the whole series, and without a shadow of a doubt, the graphics, the facial animations, the acting are so good in this game, they are god tier in my opinion. There is just no other way to say it. Naughty Dog always outduns themselves, basically with every game they ever release, and with Uncharted 4 at the time it was no different. They truly nailed it with Uncharted 4 and gave us one of the best ways to end the journey of one of the most beloved characters in gaming history, Nathan Drake. It is a must have, a game that belongs in your gaming collection, and if you haven't played this game yet, you are truly missing on one of the best games of all time. The only reason why this game is not in the first place is because this game originally was a PS3 title, who was remastered to a PS4 back in 2014. And I feel that this is the highest I can actually put this game because the other titles are natively made for the PS4. So let me tell you guys that it pains me a lot to put this game on fourth, because The Last of Us is my favorite story in a video game ever. The Last of Us broke me in so many levels, it truly changed my life. And even though this game was released on 2013, it is still considered by many people, myself included, as the best story in a video game 
ever. Naughty Dog truly nailed it with the story, making a simple story become so iconic because Naughty Dog focused on characters like Joel and Ellie, who were the main driving force of this game, rather than just focusing on moving the plot forward with generic characters. Thanks to the performances of Ashley Johnson as Ellie, Troy Baker as Joel, and the vision of the director of this game, Neil Druckmann, The Last of Us managed to win over 200 awards, sold over 17 million copies, 2 million more than Uncharted 4, and is loved by millions of fans worldwide, and it has stayed relevant since it's released. Barely any game does that, and if you haven't played my favorite story in a video game ever, then shame on you. Please go play it. You will not regret it. God of War is technically the best PS4 game ever. The story is flawless, the gameplay is exquisite, the music is flawless, the graphics are flawless. Everything that Santa Monica did with God of War was exquisite and it shows how much heart they poured into this game. I don't think I ever remember experiencing a game this good ever in my life. I think that this is the only game that I have experienced that it's just so hard to find anything genuinely bad about it, you just can't believe it. It amazes me how close to perfection this game is. The transitions from cutscenes to gameplay are the best in any game I've seen to date. It is truly one of the most immersive games I've ever played, and it's for me a shame that I have to put it on third because the other two games above God of War touched my heart in different ways I just cannot explain. So God of War, even though it's on third place, is the reason why the PS4 was so dominant throughout the whole generation, and it's because games like this, games like God of War, are made by the best, and God of War is truly one of the best games in history, period. I'm a hardcore Spider-Man fan, and I've been a super fanatic of this character since I was two. I used to even put on my Spider-Man costume as a kid, pretending I was Spider-Man, jumping from my couch to another couch in my living room, dreaming to be like Spider-Man. And me being such a hardcore fan, it was really rough seeing your favorite character in games just being so inconsistent and developers not showing enough love for the character of Spidey after the fantastic game of Spider-Man 2 in the PS2. After that, it's been so inconsistent and very few Spider-Man games were genuinely playable. Then comes Insomniac with Spider-Man PS4, and they for sure gave us the best superhero game of all time. They understood the character of Peter Parker and Spider-Man because the developers themselves are Spidey fans and they truly delivered with this game. I cried so much when I finished Spider-Man PS4 because me as a Spidey fan, it was basically all that I wanted and Insomniac delivered in every possible way they could. I know Spider-Man PS4 is not a better game technically than God of War, but this game means so much to me that I just could not place it under God of War. If you guys want to play one of the best PS4 exclusives ever, you will never go wrong with playing Spider-Man PS4. The Last of Us Part 2 is my favorite PS4 exclusive of all time because it is not just my most anticipated game of all time. In my opinion, it exceeded every expectation that I had of this game in every level that I just could not place it any lower. I know this game is basically the most controversial game of all time and me just liking it will basically attract so much toxicity and hate from others and I can't do anything about it. I've never seen anything like this ever in my life in the gaming community. But putting the controversy and toxicity of the gaming community aside, in my opinion, 
The Last of Us Part 2 surpasses The Last of Us in almost every single level possible. The graphics are by far the best in any game I've ever played. The gameplay is god tier. Not the best, but it's so good compared to The Last of Us Part 1. The music is flawless. The performance by Ashley Johnson as Ellie, Troy Baker as Joel, Laura Bailey as Abby were undeniably one of the best performances I've ever seen in a video game, period. Now, the story is the one for debate. For a lot of people, it's complete trash. For other people, it's okay. And for other people, it's just the best story ever told. And I probably fall in that category. Like I said in my review for The Last of Us Part 2, this game is ahead of its time, and people might grow to appreciate it later in a few years. This is a game I'll never forget, and if I could reset my brain just to experience this game like if it was my first time, I would do it. I've never played a game like this, and it's truly one of the most immersive experiences I've ever ever experienced, and playing this game, I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I truly recommend this game to anyone. And for those who are going to play it for the first time, I would recommend you to have an open mind because the experience you're gonna go through is one hell of a ride. And in my opinion, it's truly worth it. Well guys, this is my list of my top 10 favorite PS4 games of all time. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is your list for your top 10 favorite PS4 games of all time? I would love to know. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can get notified on my future videos. Only 10% of you that are subscribed to my channel have actually hit that notification bell. So hit that notification bell so that YouTube can remind you that I actually post my videos. Because if you don't, then YouTube might not show you my videos and you might miss it. Like and share this video and follow me on the socials and let's have a great conversation there. Stay positive, stay safe, keep playing, and I'll see you guys next time.